You know, I think that something that's very exciting for me being able to serve in this capacity is both the governor and lieutenant governor, I think, have given more attention to agriculture uh, than I have seen in several administrations. And certainly that's very important to me personally and in this capacity. And I know he probably has 75 other places that he could be this morning. Um, so we appreciate uh, him coming this year and certainly joining us last year as well. It makes a big difference to the success of all of this in, our, in this room. Uh, that the Lieutenant Governor has had this focus um, on the work that you all do every day. Um, certainly want to tie into some of the comments uh, that the Lieutenant Governor made. Uh, number one, I'm just excited to see the room full. Now I say that, uh, but when I pulled up to park, um, I did have to circle a couple times and ended up um, on the other side of the hotel to find a parking space. But how exciting is that, right? In Oklahoma, uh, that everyone in this room has taken the time out of their busy schedules, and all of you understand that no matter what type of ag operation you're in, stepping away from it for an entire day is a challenge, right? Because there may or may not be someone there to uh, take care of things, and one day's time, especially with the challenging weather that we have in Oklahoma, can make a big difference. So I think that really shows uh, the importance of what we're doing here today, um, and hopefully too, that you all are taking things back home with you that are useful tools and educational resources for you all to be successful. And I think that's certainly what um, we want to see happen from the Department of Agriculture. You will see several of our staff around the room. That's everyone from Mayor Ruth, who is our Market Development Director, uh, but her staff from our agritourism folks to farmers market folks who we've got ag in the classroom staff here. Um, so you've seen that they are committed to the work that you all do as well and I will tell you that I talk to people a lot across all state agencies and I would say that we have the best staff um, at the Department of Agriculture of any state agency and certainly I'm a little bit partial um, to our staff but they truly care about you all being successful so I think we're at a really exciting time in Oklahoma we've got great people in great positions that want to see um, success for everyone and I know so here in the room I see lots of familiar faces as well, some who are very tenured folks um, in ag production, uh, but my guess is we probably have a lot of folks who are just getting started. And what a tremendous opportunity uh, because the size of operations, if I was going to guess from some of the folks that I know who are here, are maybe folks who just started out kind of in a half acre in your backyard or maybe not that big of an operation up to some of our livestock operations that are much larger than that. And there is room for everyone in this venue. And I think that's the great opportunity that we have now more than ever people care about their food and they care about where their food comes from. They want to show up at that farmer's market. They want to develop that relationship with you, uh, that they come and see you every Tuesday or every Saturday or whatever the case may be. Um, and they want to learn from you. Um, I was telling my daughter, I have two kids, my son's 11 and my daughter's seven, and they always ask where I'm going for the day. And I told them where I was headed and my daughter said, Oh, the farmer's market, she said, that's where you get all those weird vegetables that we've never seen and you try to make us eat them. And I said, yes, that's correct. You know, I asked Connie Whitmore, what do I do with this acorn squash, Connie? And she gives me some directions and sometimes it goes well, sometimes it doesn't go so well. Uh, but, you know, we've got this true enthusiasm here in Oklahoma about our food. And how exciting is that for all of us because you all care about what you do. But ultimately, there is profit potential because people want to pay for that food and for that experience. And what a unique time, right? Especially for our agritourism venues. My husband's a full-time cattle producer, and he thinks that agritourism is so interesting because both of us having grown up in ag, you know, especially on days like today when you're sludging through the mud and having to dump feed for the cows, not super exciting, right? But there are lots of people who want to pay money to come out and do that at your place, right? It's a really odd dynamic. 
Um, so there's just great, great opportunity um, to capitalize on that. And certainly for my capacity as Secretary of Agriculture, it allows us to really educate the public about how good a job we do in agriculture. You hear the governor talk a lot about being a top 10 state. You heard the lieutenant governor mention being a top 10 state. The great thing for me is Oklahoma is when we talk about ag, we're already top 10 in a lot of things. We're very, very good at what we do in production agriculture here in the state of Oklahoma. So lots and lots of exciting momentum. I want to tell you all that we want to be a resource to you at the Department of Agriculture. Um, if there are things that uh, we can collaborate with you on, we certainly want to do that. Uh, we love new ideas. We have staff that travel uh, to meetings across the U.S. to see things that are being done um, in other states. We were in New Mexico uh, last September, and I came hold, home and told Mayor Ruth, they're doing some really cool things um, in this space, and let's talk to them, let's collaborate, let's see what we can do. So we're always trying to find additional opportunities that then we can get that information back out to you all so that you can be successful. Uh, but a lot of times you all can bring ideas to us and say, why aren't you all doing X, Y, Z, right? A lot of times somebody comes to us with that question and we say, well, we didn't know about it. Um, so we hope that there's great communication back and forth uh, from you all as producers to our staff and then there are things that we can improve on, things that we can do differently. That's absolutely what we want to do. Uh, we want to see Oklahoma be successful and that's across all 77 counties. You know, ag is so diverse and certainly when you start looking at our agritourism venues um, and our farmers markets and even the products that are offered as you travel across the state, that looks a lot different uh, depending on what quadrant you're in, but what great opportunity that there is in that. Um, so we want to help you all be successful. So very glad that you're here today. Um, I appreciate all of our partners. Um, I know that we've got some USDA folks in the staff. ONI's partnership is certainly appreciated, and I know I saw some Langston folks that I was coming in and some Oklahoma State folks. Very much a team effort. I uh, want everybody kind of rowing the same direction to push Oklahoma forward and certainly to push um, agriculture forward. So please know, uh, very similar to the Lieutenant Governor's office, we're just a phone call away. Um, and we're glad to uh, come out and visit with you, talk to you, help you navigate through any challenges that you might have and find some solutions, um, and continue to see Oklahoma flourish. I anticipate, I believe in the next 10 to 15 years, I think everyone's waking up to what a great place Oklahoma is to live, right? When you look, if you just centered in on Oklahoma City and you see people that have come to Oklahoma City, um, Oklahoma City has these folks that have come from everywhere else because they've realized Oklahoma City and Tulsa and all these areas, Oklahoma is a great place to live, right? And that I think that's because of our people. It's certainly not because of our weather. I don't think we're attracting anyone because of our mild climate. Uh, but I think we will continue to see that growth um, and all that falls in line with agritourism and farmers market and food production. I think we'll continue to see uh, more interest in what you all do and more opportunity for you all to uh, be profitable in that business and we want to be a partner with you as you move forward. So thank you all again for taking time out of your very, very busy schedules. I hope the weather is a little kinder to us uh, in 2020 than it was in 2019. Um, it was kind of a challenging year, so we'll hope for uh, better weather uh, in 2020. And thank you all again um, and look forward to visiting with some of you guys. Thank you.